वंस द सर्वे हैड डन और वंस द इन्वेस्टिगेशन हैड फिनिश देन वी कैन समराइज दैट और वी कैन फाइनलाइज द पॉइंट विच इज विच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द सिलेक्शन ऑफ अ साइट फॉर द रिजर्व वॉयर Here are the list of the various factors that are used for the selection of the site for the reservoir. The first condition or first point will be the geological condition of the catchment area should be such that percolation losses are minimum and maximum runoff is obtained. So. If the losses are minimum, so we can easily store the maximum volume of our water in the reservoir. So, uh, according to the geological survey, this catchment area should be having a, a less leakages or should be having a less percolation losses. Then, the reservoir site should be such that. quantity of leakage through it is minimum the reservoir site having the presence of highly permeable rocks reduces the water tightness of the reservoir rocks which are not likely to allow passage of a water include shells and slates schist gneisses and crystalline igneous rocks such as granite so the reservoir site it should be strictly having a less leakage or the leakage should be minimum because if the uh, reservoir if the pervy um, or porous rock is there so what happen because of the continuous uh, uh, application of a water on such type of a rock the it may be crack or the uh, it may uh, divides into a number of pieces so what happened through this crack through this pieces through this uh, open space water will get uh, deposited into the rock area so that the amount of the water level in the reservoir will get reduced and the tightness of a reservoir will be reduced so uh, for this purpose only the reservoir site should be strictly uh, having a minimum leakage then the suitable dam site must exist the dam should be founded on sound water tight rock beds and percolation below the dam should be minimum the cost of the dam is often a controlling factor in selection of a site so the suitable dam site it is also helps or it also uh, affects uh, the on the selection site for the reservoir if the dam foundation is not proper it's porous one so the whatever the amount of the water which is stored in the reservoir that that water will get percolated through this porous medium and the water will get collect, uh, collected or stored at the under or under the base of the dam or at the foundation of the dam so what happen because of this stored water the uplift pressure exerts on the dam and dam may get fail uh, in a bad condition in a worse condition uh, in short period without giving any warning so for this purpose only so uh, we have to select the dam site properly then the reservoir basin should have a narrow opening in the valley so that length of a dam is less the reservoir basin obviously if uh, the opening is a broad one so the uh, we have to increase the length of a dam and because of this the construction cost will be increased so we have to uh, for the economical uh, planning the we have to reduce the cost of the dam we have to give we have uh, or uh, being the engineer this is our duty uh, we are giving a best quality in a economical 
quantity or economical budget. Then the cost of real estate for the reservoir, including road, railroad, dwelling relocation, must be less as possible. Then the topography of the reservoir site should be such that it has adequate capacity without submerging excessive land and other properties. See, uh, because of this, uh, these two points, the cost of the real estate and the topography of the reservoir site. What happened if the reservoir site, uh, if uh, it uh, has the, um, it has the uh, prop, uh, large submerging area, uh, and uh, the area which are we uh, which are we have we are going to finalize in this if the area is under the submersion submersion submerging or the villagers we uh, who are residing nearby this area and nearby this dam site dam area we have to give the compensation so definitely the cost will be increased the whole and the total cost of the project will be increased. So we have to reduce and we have to minimize this cost of the project. Hence, these two points are uh, definitely taken into consideration. Then, the site should be such that a deep reservoir is formed. A deep reservoir is preferable to a shallow one because lower cost of land submerged per unit of capacity this is the first condition why we are choosing the deep reservoir instead of a shallow reservoir. Then less evaporation losses because of reduction in water spread area. Then the less likelihood of weed growth. Hence we are the site that we are finalizing. We are finalizing this. The site should be this, uh, having a, a deep or it should be formed a deep reservoir. Then the reservoir site should be such that it avoids or excludes water from those tributaries which carries a high percentage of silt in water. See the water uh, reservoir site should be uh, selected that uh, See, uh, we have the loss of sources. So, through the various sources, the water will carry the silt particles also. So, uh, the site that we are going to finalize, this is this is not actually, uh, uh, what do you say, that uh, we can't control on the uh, silt flow. So, firstly or basically, if the hill or if the uh, soil is containing the uh, silt particle and soil is uh, clay even and the, there is a uh, finer soil, soil is available nearby this uh, reservoir site. So through this site uh, we are obstructing the flow of water uh, which are coming or uh, which are uh, entering into the reservoir. So the uh, reservoir site should be selected that uh, we have to control on the silt flow of a silt particle. So the next one is the reservoir site should be such that the water stored in it is suitable for the purpose for which the project is undertaken. The soil and rock mass at the reservoir site must not contain any objectionable mineral and salts. See, uh, we are constructing this reservoir for the distribution purpose, for the electricity generation purpose, for any purpose. So it should not contain any minerals and salt. If this type, if this water is used for the drinking and is used for the domestic industrial purpose, so already it contains the mineral and salt, so it may affect the health of the human being as well as it affects the, uh, it affects the animal uh, health also. So for uh, reducing this, for overcoming this, we have to control or we have to select the site 
which don't contain uh, which doesn't contain the minerals and salt and the soil and the rock which is available nearby the site of this reservoir does not contain any such type of a mineral and salts 